What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. So today um, I'm going to show you guys how I've got my uh, Baron Mini Bullet Tack wired up. Um, I'm not going to wire it per se because it's already wired in, uh, but I can show you guys really easily uh, how it's wired. Uh, I'm just going to pull the seat here and I'm going to pull the gas tank. I would recommend anytime you have to pull your gas tank, if you can help it, um, do it on a uh, on a low tank of gas. You can see I've, I was on a ride last night. And I've got to switch to switch to reserve. So I'll put that to full now. Shouldn't be getting a whole lot of gas out of there. Um, it's not a big deal if you have to pull your tank. It's full of gas. It's just uh, it's kind of clumsy and and uh, you're going to leak gas everywhere unless you get it set up to uh, catch all the gas. It's not a big deal, but um, it's something that I try to do when I can help it. So again, we're going to pull the seat pull the tank and I can show you guys how that's wired up all right so we've got our gas tank off we've got our seat off um, the seat is really easy to pull off it's it's uh, it's a screw under here if you just kind of follow the line of this the, um, of the accessory mount here right here is one screw you can have one on the other side then you're gonna have one right here behind the uh, tail light uh, and then for the fuel um, for the fuel tank it's pretty easy. You've got your um, there's a fuel line right here, um, and then there's a uh, kind of a uh, just an air air line there, and then there's uh, your speedometer cable, which is kind of your braided cable right here. It's going to go down to right there. Um, so all very visible. Other than that, you just pull it out, and uh, you do have this. You want to be uh, mindful of this. This is your uh, this is all your wiring for your speedometer and your light and everything. So you want to make sure you don't rip that out when you're getting your gas tank off. All right, so you've got your uh, get your tachometer here. So I've got mine ran. I didn't even cut the wire when I got it. The wire comes out the bottom of the unit. I've just got it following basically my clutch cable down to here. So you can see right here, this is your horn. Okay, so the wire is actually coming out of this. There's only four wires, and there's a ground wire which is black. Okay, right there, that is screwed in to right there, so that's grounded. Okay, so um, in addition to that, this right here, this is uh, this is probably uh, your ignition uh, coil here um, that goes down to your spark plug. Okay. So, in there, I've got clipped the green wire from the tack, okay? And that's where your tack is going to get its reading, okay? And then right here, you can see on your horn, you've got this blue wire and this red wire. That's coming from the tack. And if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it at all, but the, uh, the wires that were already going to the horn... They are actually, one of them is black and blue, one of them is black and red. So the red is uh, next to the black and red, the blue is next to the black and blue. And I've got them just, if you pull those rubber boots out, you can kind of see where they're clipped in along with those wires. Um, one of those wires is going to be your backlight for the tack, and the other one's actually going to be the power for the, for the unit itself. Um, and then that, again, that green is your uh, timing, that's where, that's where the uh, tack's getting its reading and then the black is ground. So that's how it's wired. It's actually very, very simple. Um, when I wired it up, it uh, it was uh, it probably only took me, I mean, it takes you longer to, uh, probably takes you longer to get the seat in the tank off than it does to actually wire up the unit. So I strongly recommend this unit. It reads great. Um, another thing, let me step into the garage here. So something I bought for mine, I figured, and probably a lot of a lot of other people figured too. You know, when you have one, when you have one spark plug, you think, okay, well, this is this is a single cylinder in, engine. It's a big thumper engine. Uh, surely it only fires one time. Well, it actually fires twice. It fire it must fire once on the upstroke and once on the downstroke. So something I bought with mine is a tack adapter, single fire. So this is actually a barren unit, and I thought that I would probably need this 
to wire this tack up to this. Well, I didn't know that it was a, a dual fire uh, ignition, so um, so you actually don't need this. So if you're thinking that you might need this, you don't for this bike. And so that's it. Again, you got four wires coming down right here. Your black is your ground. Your green is your timing. Okay, your blue is either your power or your uh, backlight, and then your red. Uh, again, it wires in there right next to the red and black for the horn, the blue right next to the blue and black for the horn. All right.